Hello world, that's my thing. That's my introduction. What the fuck was that? I'm gonna leave it to it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna edit it. Um, on this on this episode too, we wanted to touch on one thing. I got a special guest with me in the building. Um, I wanted to touch on um infidelity. How infidelity looks. How do we identify that in the poly community? And then poor the city yeah. boundaries. So everyone, because our history, of course, it has infidelity. And of course, uh, with ours, it was the secrecy, the deceit. When we were monogamous, of course, right? You know, I did my trial and error. We really did have to heal from it. Baby. Yeah. We really did have to heal from it. We did really have to work through it. It was a process, challenges, you know what I mean, that we had to go through um, to even work. We had to work on this, especially with what the history it came from before we could work on everything together. But how do we identify those things? It's kind of understood in monogamous or what infidelity looks like. Um, but how do you identify it in the poly community? Um, well, I'll let you answer that first. I don't know. To me, I feel it would be the exact same things that you would be looking for. In a monogamous relationship, like the secrecy, the hidden text messages, the... But see, but see, but see, now this is where it's complicated. That's why I was stating there is differences, right? Um, Because the secrecy, yes, deceit is deceit, regardless. We set, if we set rules, we, you go beyond those rules, beyond those boundaries. But those are set for me. We're going to get to that, the importance of boundaries too. But once we have, once there's deceit or there's something that we put there... For us to protect the relationship and how we're going to conduct ourselves where we can all know, I think that's when we place infidelity. But how do we know, how do we know at the end of the day, um, because how would you know? Like, at the end of the day, I think it's very crazy. How would it look in your dynamics? Every dynamic is different. Every rules and structures are different because we all have different boundaries. We all set different rules. We all have different things and systems in our families of what's okay and what's not. So, I think at the end of the day, overall, it would be once you break someone, once you break, once you once you cross someone's boundaries, once you once you're deceitful, secrecy, kind of like what you're saying. But some people might be on that. Don't ask, don't tell. I don't wanna, as long as I don't ask, don't tell. But like, I don't want to know about your relationship, parallel relationship, and I'm fine with it. But I think once you cross certain things. This is when we got to recognize it as infidelity. Like, you're being deceitful. The, so, the deceitful really mean, even in the public community, that's where the, cheat, that's where the cheating lies. My co-host is just talkative today. I, I'm so sorry. Um, would you say that, then? Yeah. I think that's the main thing. And I think that, that comes down. I think that, I, taking recognition into that. I think really that's where we can really start to see, you know what I mean, if things are going well within your relationship. Because how much are we going to be able to use the excuse of, well, we're poly, we should know that. I think you need to have those discussions because it's not going to be understood. There are certain boundaries that we place there for ourselves. And that's the importance of it. I think I, I tell Shalana all the time, set your boundaries. Set them there for you. Don't don't look at me or don't feel bad for me or, because then like that, you're still going to get walked or you're still going to get... And it's, you don't want to find yourself in a, in a position where you're regretting certain situations. And I think that's very important. Would you not agree that's about very, boundaries? very, very important boundaries. Yeah, so to me, I think at the end of the day, keep the importance of boundaries. We're going to discuss that when we bring everybody around the... Um, the V table for the discussion, the panel discussion on that portion. And I think this is things that people really need to really um, dive into within their dynamic, especially before you go into your poly journey. Get those under, get those understandings. Um, what you call it? But yes, and I, I did it. I think to me, once we cross each other, if you cross what I said there. If you're secretive or if there's still deceit and we're not really in the known and we had that discussion to be very transparent with each other, those are kind of the things of infidelity, I think, of how they look in poly to me. I don't know. Like, it's crazy how because you have that excuse and a lot of people use it. We're poly. We should know. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is our thing. I don't know. That's, I really want to know. I really want to hear what everybody but else has to say. have different views of what, how they want their poly structured. I know. It's, so. it's a... How does infidelity look in Paul? Mm -hmm. 
How does it look? This is a good, this, I need to know. I need to know. Anybody that, you know what I mean, might have a different answer after this show, make sure you tap in. Yeah, I'm ready to bring this pan, the, the panel, everybody on, on, on board and hit this discussion. Because I really want to, I think to me at the end of the day, it would, because in monogamy, it is really, it ain't really the sex, right? That, of course, sex does bother people. Like, you fucked, what'd you do? You know what I mean? But I think it's the deceit. You're a whole different character. You're not who I thought you were. You were being creative with a lie. It was just, I, you know, I can't believe this, the... You know, all that shit, we went through it. So, I mean, I know it was just mainly more that than anything else. And, you know, it, it is a lot to heal from. But how do we identify it within poly? Because you have people that use that as a reasoning of it being understood. Man, let's get this going, man. Uh, let's go ahead and kick in and bring everybody in, man. Thank y'all for tuning in, especially. And also, make sure y'all go ahead and go to the website, the Porter Family, tap in. Check out the kids' clothes that we're dropping. Exclusive. Big love family. You know what I mean? Bonus parents, bonus love, all that. Um, also got a couple of other projects coming up. Make sure you follow all poly events to stay updated for all local poly events in your area and surrounding area. You know what I mean? We're trying to bring the community together. You know, we still got also content creators that are going to be featured at the end and coaches to make sure you stay in contact with them for anything you need because we want to see successful families out there, successful journeys, people that need to just get the information or just, you know, have someone to kind of help them through their journey at the end of the day because this to unlearn, to relearn a whole new love style is very challenging at the end of the day. You may need some assistance, just an outlook on things. But yeah, let's get this conversation going because I really want to know how does I how do you identify infidelity in in poly? Let's kick this off. Well, this portion is um you know what it is the roundtable portion where we bring on our guests. Our guest host actually hit the topic at hand to kind of get the discussion kind of going, more information out there, different perspectives and insight. Um, you know, uh, last that last Sunday I did call this the roundtable. Shanice has informed me it's not round. It is V, you know, and which is absolutely correct. You know, so like, it's the V table at the end of the day with the Porter family. We got Shanice and we got the Smiths. You know, um, for those that don't know, if y'all want to say y'all's IG, because I'm also going to convert it into audio so they can find y'all's IG. Yeah. Shani V, S-H-A-N-I-I-V. Mine is Cola Smith, C-O-L-A underscore Smith. Mine is k Ren. K A Y R E N. Not K. Underscore L T S. Why you had to interrupt it? I forgot it was longer than what it was. Thank <laughs> <laughs> though. Yes. <laughs> yes. She got her handle too. Let her do her handle. She got dead head. She got a lot of attitude and she ready to talk. Yes. Exactly. Yes. So the topic that we have at hand this session is uh, this, this, uh, this portion is um infidelity right we already know what infidelity is we were talking about it earlier put a little bit of the insight in it hey i i, I did it i know it it's been out there i learned from it and not being i'm not being held a prison of my past people change things change and i'm thankful for the the opportunity to show that i could change at the end of the day so much appreciation but how do you identify infidelity in the poly realm how do we know what it is you know and also i wanted to touch on the importance of boundaries do we understand them why are they placed there for? You know what I mean? How do people feel about it? You know, so um, I don't know who wants to kick it off first. I could go for uh, no. Nah, you want to? Well, as far as um, infidelity in the poly realm, um, it definitely happens. First of all, it happens in any kind of relationship, whether it's monogamous or poly. Um, but with poly, it's a little more. It's a, to me, it's a little more hurtful because being poly, our, our basis is being transparent, communication. So it hurts more to know that someone cheated, stepped out, however you want to call it, and there was no communication prior to that. So that's the hurtful thing. We pride ourselves on communication and transparency. Back, back. I fully agree with that. And I think, um, but uh, I agree with it. But then this is why I would ask with the boundary points, right? The, the boundary sense. Is because if I don't, if, if we don't set the boundaries of how to operate around each other and have an understanding and communication with each other, I mean, this is, and this is why I love the topic. And I, I guess I'm kind of jumping ahead. Do we create a, a free game? You know what I mean? At the end of the day, we have to understand. And it, but it happens. It, you know what I mean? It just, it, it, it happens sometimes. That basic platform, that, that understanding. So it becomes that. So 
I think at the end of the day, we have to really consider what portion are we looking at being infidelity when we're speaking of poly? Is it not just the, only the transparency, but are we also looking at from, um, no, it would be transparency, but also do you need to tell me immediately when you're speaking to another partner? In a monogamous relationship, in a monogamous relationship, you know, instantly we consider that that's infidelity. You know what I mean? That's that, that's cheating off the rip. But if I'm speaking to someone and I don't know where it's going, what do we have to discuss that certain point of, okay, I'm gaining these interests and these feelings for this individual. Now is the time, or is it before I start texting? Then I'm thinking about texting or I'm thinking about communicating. When do we consider it not being infidelity, being poly and have that understanding amongst each other? Well, for me, I consider infidelity once the communication is not being had. Yes, I understand that not everybody works out, but if we both have that understanding, if you say, hey, I'm talking to somebody new, that we are both on the understanding that it may go somewhere, it may not go somewhere. And I was always poly without even knowing that that's a name for it. Because we had we had those conversations mm-hmm. when I was in my relationship. It was, okay, we can talk to other people. Um, we'll, hit, we'll let each other know, but then the infidelity still happened because he did what he wanted to do without communicating. Mm. So the infidelity happens when you do something without communicating or you uh, go outside of the boundaries that you have set, whether it be, okay, I don't mind us um, talking to people and getting to know people, but once it gets to a certain point of actually catching feelings, then we communicate about it. It depends on, it's, every relationship's different, so everybody's boundaries will be different. However, once you set them, that's the boundaries. Facts. I mean, and this is, I, man, and Karen had told me I needed to bring someone that was, um, that's been doing solo poly. Cause I want to see how they operate being in the, in the, um, relationship with themselves. Like, are these things kind of, do you could, cause all their partners don't have to really know about each other. So where do we set those things? You know what I mean? So if someone that's solo poly watching this, I would love to hear that insight of how it's operated. You know what I mean? Um, where do you go amongst that? If you have no, and what is it um nesting partner like you're actually mm-hmm. living on your own you know um because it is kind of crazy okay well you know I, I don't have to really communicate these things with that individual it just means understood that i do have multiple partners outside of you you know what i mean mm-hmm. um that's why i say it, the importance of boundaries you know what i mean i'm kind of gonna kick it on to that uh the, the boundaries portion how what are are there certain boundaries i don't know if one of y'all want to speak on it um that you see that need to be in place or what would you suggest for somebody that needs to be in place coming into poly? I I wouldn't say there were boundaries like automatically set. You actually have to feel the person out or the people out and see what makes you feel uncomfortable before you get ready to set up boundaries because if not, then it starts looking like rules more than boundaries and things that bother you. It's like, oh, you can't do this. Oh, you can't do that. Instead of, you know, this kind of makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable mm-hmm. to feel about it in a different form and fashion. Not saying you can't do it, mm-hmm. but let's try it in a different way to where I don't feel uncomfortable. It makes me feel uncomfortable in some way, shape, or form, and I'm still trying to figure that out for myself. We, I, I think, um, well, remember, boundaries are going to be things to put in place to protect yourself. It's for you. Barriers, well, you have barriers. Barriers can stem from insecurities that, you know what I mean? You just don't want that barrier to be pushed through because insecurity, just rooted from insecurity. Uh, we were in a clubhouse and they spoke about uh, rules. Do you remember, Karen, when she broke it down with the rules, like why the rules are in place? Yeah. Um, there was... <laughs> I understood where she was coming from, but I can't remember exactly what she was saying and what she said. Um, but <clears throat> we were talking about boundaries and, you know, people setting them and the importance of it, but also not allowing barriers that, you know, come from just personal things that you just like, it's like, like hurtful to you, more so of an insecurity that turns into something like that. But like... <clears throat> I was saying on that clubhouse, we don't talk about boundaries enough as adults, if you ask me. Like, we don't really set them <clears throat> in the beginning. Um, and it's because, like, um, it's, it's just really because we don't really even know. Like, we have some that you can set in the beginning, like, just stupid ones. Like, 
you can't eat her pussy or uh, just stuff like that I feel like that is more of a barrier than a boundary like there are certain things that you just be like like fluid bonding we talked about that you know with new partners and stuff um I feel like that's an important boundary that should be set in the beginning I'm really big on communication hey. when it comes to having a respect level for me, even if we're not, we're platonic, we have a platonic love for each other. Me and this girl are not in a relationship with each other. She's just dating my husband. It needs to be a level of respect had to where y'all know is getting serious. Talk to me. Let, let me know like, hey, this is what you see. This is what, you know, let's have a talk at the table and let's talk about like, hey, this is um what, how I do things or how I maneuver or whatever, because in a sense, it just makes things easier on how to move forward. If you ask me, it just makes things go smoother. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Um, I'm trying to remember the rules thing. I was trying to remember because I know a lot of people do place rules. Um, the one thing I, I really dislike kind of about, but I understand it, right? Everybody's structure is going to be different. So I understand the rules because it takes different precautions and understanding that you have amongst each other. Like how you said the um, no eating pussy thing. P- people have the um, don't nut in their thing. You know what I mean? Uh, don't nut in there because you don't want the risk of pregnancy or don't fuck a raw. I know to me, I, uh, I know one big barrier that a lot of people face, especially when it's a, a female male, female um, relationship. Uh, when they sit there and say the nobody can have sex when I'm not there, you know mm. that that's kind of one of those things. Like, well, shit. Naturally, people are just going. We if we fucking, we fucking. You know, what I mean? <laughs> I mean, at the end right. of the day. The, that rule goes out the window <laughs> after you actually get serious with each other, and it's like, wait a minute, why would I be stopping myself from an enjoyment that I can be having because the other person is not there? Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. But at the same time. Definitely agree it won't be equal, you know, but it has to at least make sense. So nobody feels any type of way. And at the end of the day, if everybody's like, okay, well, if everybody's having sex when you can have sex, then there's nothing that counts. There's nothing to really think about because everybody's having sex and they can have sex. If you can't, then you can't. That's just what it is. Facts. Facts. I think, I'm, I think that's why I think when it comes to boundaries, we need to remember it's for us and understand don't let your, your insecurities, jealousy, anything like that stop you or hindering you up from growth. Um, now, I'm trying to think of some great boundaries. So, I mean, this is just really for yourself. I don't know if anybody has any examples that they- A actually- boundary that is set for me is do not take it to the next level. If, you're, if, if everything's online, then do not take it to the next level of meeting up without a communication. Okay. That's just, that's just, I, cause obviously if you're going to meet up with this person, somewhat serious. If it's in person, when you get to the next stage of, okay, I really like that person. That's a bound. Just, just let me know because that is something that I should know as well. At some, if you're in a relationship with the person that just got out of mine, if I was in it and you were doing separate, it would be, don't come, you have to come home to me. That's a boundary that it would be set. That is just like, that's just it. Because right now you're not serious with the person yet, so why would you not come home? And that's just about ba- oh, example of a boundary. I've been feeling like people would be using poly to kind of stretch out what they really want to do selfishly. So mm. I think like a lot of things get masked under poly. I don't really, I'm not really, you know, in deep into poly as. Alex is and everything like that with the just the knowledge about it but on the outside looking in because I kind of put myself outside and inside I just I think I've been thinking to myself like you know Polly sometimes be having me fucked up and <laughs> I just really because it, like people like to throw things underneath well I mean if we Polly I mean you you, you should I understand I mean I, I mean that. it's more to love I was, it's, it's, I was it's gonna get there bullshit in my she opinion, got there for I, you. Not the whole, you know, I respect whoever, however, whatever. I'm not t- going against nobody's <laughs> understanding. I just feel like it, it's really, it gets misused a lot. I, I, I definitely. Like 
if you are in a situation with someone off the break, like when uh, Karen said, you know, at the beginning, you really don't know what to put in bound in place. But come on, you're not stupid. So like, there don't we go. Respect me. But we do have an open understanding. So let's work towards that mutually understanding what's okay. And then when you get to that together, you cross that, you cross over and you say, hey, okay, we into this too. Okay, yeah, we can do this. We can, it's not so much as permission because when people put rules into poly, rules are made to be broken. That's the, my world. Like <laughs> yeah, I, I, I am a, a rebel when it comes to rules. <laughs> I can honestly say, he look at me, you don't like authority. You, I respect it for what it is. But when you start putting rules into play, come on. Like, nobody's going to continue to follow the rule. You have to put them into understandings and agreements. Agree with it. One person just can't say, you can't do this, you can't do that. And the other person like, yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Yeah. That's the rule. <laughs> and guess what? They just did that, that, and that on top of more shit that you told them or fit that, that this, this just wouldn't they they couldn't do so i just felt i don't know if it's a better way to do things well different i think that's why that's why you would put um your boundaries in place now now um one could be if it's an open relationship say the married couple they do their thing right and you have that 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 rule or whatever in place about no um man and i'm bad sometimes with the, the, the fluid swapping I said that correctly? Yeah. Yeah. The, um, the fluid swap. Yeah. Said. We're only going to keep that within our relationship. Don't keep that on any outside source. You know, and at the end of the day, that person, individual's relationship on the outside could still grow. And then I say they grow because that relationship is going to have its own set of whatever it is. Because remember, every relationship is a meaningful relationship. So say at this point, your partner that you agreed with about no fluid swapping says, hey, I'm about to. I want to kind of. I'm going down I'm going to, day. I'm, I'm going, yeah, right I'm going now, to do it. So let's right? hold but off. I'm, hey, I'm communicating this, right? But, do but you look, I'm communicating. Like, listen, I, 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 in the real world, do you honestly feel like this conversation is going to be had? Yes. Let me see. No, I'm not saying like the same night. I'm not saying like the same night. I'm not saying the same night. I'm saying, but you know. I, look, I've been reaching this point with this person I've been with me. We've been fucking with it for a year, whatever. I mean, I understand what you're saying because it could be like, Lee, you probably already did it. I, 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 no, I <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I know, I don't know what the fuck you're saying, <laughs> but just say, you, okay, but either way, you don't know, right? Just we're going off of pure, pure trust on this, right? Like, he's, this person's coming to me and telling me, so I'm telling you, boom, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead. Now, you have the choice to sit there and say, okay, well, once you do that, I'm saying this point here for me i'm only gonna have protective sex with you you right. have an open line of communication but yes i understand what you're saying it is whatever we have to trust you have to trust so much within that honest communication that it is because yeah who is gonna because i you i mean if we turn around it we're gonna do that yeah you already know i'm 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 not gonna i'm probably gonna fuck up and then be like oh shit remember that rule we made or <laughs> that, that boundary you said <laughs> <laughs> last night i was on that <laughs> like and i was straight <laughs> in it i was yeah, I get that. I understand it, but we have to find that line of. But yeah, because you will look at it and say, "Man, that's some bullshit." You know, motherfuckers are still raw dog, and if they're gonna do it, they're gonna do it. Holly is also disappointed. What I do you mean by that? that? Because you have the expectation that it's going to be that, and you get the disappointed same thing I was when that shit in the don't first be episode, that. Like, so you have all of these expectations, like, "Oh yeah, Polly, we're mm -hmm. open." Yep. Oh yeah, Polly, we're honest. Yep. Oh, yeah, Polly. Oh, that's accepted. Nope. And when you start getting into it, it starts looking like the, the surreal monogamy. It starts looking like how people handle monogamous situations with the laws of the lands and the, the rules associated with that. It starts flip-flopping back and forth to where you don't know what the hell you in. You, you in this understanding. <laughs> in your life. I definitely feel that. Like, okay, well, shit. We, we came this far. What are we doing now? You continue to grow because of course life is about change so you, yeah you, if you agree to do the shit together you're changing together but life is not going to be the same it's not going to be what you thought it was it does disappoint you at times because it ain't what it is it's cracked up not cracked up to be it's not what you expected when you put so many expectations based off of just the textbook poly you're going to be disappointed with it it's, rough it's, said, it's I, hard but work. that's but that's the same thing with monogamy yeah, no, no, though, no, as well. Yeah. If everybody looks at like that, the nice 
pictures of monogamy, they're like, oh my gosh, a relationship is so great. When you get into a relationship, it's like, whoa, yes. this shit is work. I yeah. don't want this shit, whether it's monogamy or poly. Like, it's yes. a lot of work. It is. <laughs> so you got to times that by having every many person, people you decide to deal with. And it's like, okay, do I really want to deal with this? Okay, I'm halfway poly. And then I'm going to come back <laughs> and, you know, make it work for me. Look, hold on. Halfway poly she... 2020. Right. <laughs> My look, 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 and when I say when she when she said she does not go into nothing of poly information, even when I have discussions with her and I and I tell her something, that's why most time when I speak, I just try to speak more or less overall relationship. I don't really try to die too much, especially with Chantel on poly, because if we go into a poly thing, this is what what she's saying. I how do I go against someone that's speaking facts in the sense of would you really tell me? Would it really be that? I couldn't tell you. We're gonna, me and you both gonna go off of that hope of my word shit. I really, you know, a realist. <laughs> yeah, and a realist. Mean, when you, so for me, I'm a very sharing person, and I'm a very try. I, I, I speak the truth. So when you do that, you just expect other people to do the same, and sometimes that shit just like whoa. When you and later on when you find out, you're like, wait a minute, what? You took a wait, but hold the fuck up. I don't understand how the fuck we got here when everything was be truthful from here. Like, no. And no. Look, <laughs> the lines definitely get blurred. The lines definitely get blurred. Um, people feel like the conversations aren't sexy beforehand. And shit do happen. Because motherfuckers would be like, yeah, you remember that rule we had? Well, you know. That happened. See, I forgot about I, it. She I, I, said no. I remembered after I finished blinking. But we back no. on track now. So I, it was not okay. But I can I don't even want to say rule, boundary. Like yeah, you yeah. Know, boundary we had to, to, to respect our relationship. Before. You in the mood. Hey, I'm about to go swap some fluid. Let me right, let me go. <laughs> let me go. Like, hey, no, 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 look, I, <laughs> to me, to me, right. I can't admit to me, I can't I can't admit on the on the you know, we and me and the individual had because of that. Yeah, I'm not gonna call. We yo, we in the in the, but I had to know this individual. We're this means me and this individual have been dating for a minute, and then it's like already to a point. I might slip up because my feelings is already invested into this individual. She's been knowing about this individual, so of course it it's gonna happen now. But if it's something that I'm just gonna have just out of nowhere, that's gonna be rare. That's that's not really my mo. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna I'm be cautious behind it, but that's why I say like it really just depends on the person, you know. At the end of the day, oh. we, there is there is there is some trust, but yeah, not at the end of the day, yeah, I, I could sit here and we could do the no fluid shit off, off whatever, but I couldn't promise that. Yeah, and if I'm vibing with someone really good and we in Miami or something or fucking you know wherever and we been, we just had a great fantastic night. We ain't no protection. I'm not making that call. Like yo, fuck this tonight. I'm going in. <laughs> I just want to let you know. All right, yeah. All right, boo boo. You have a good night. Like, what are we doing? Come on, exactly. come on. What, what's it? When you're done, you send that. Okay, don't be mad. <laughs> what's the appropriate time after to, to have that discussion? What's the perfect time after? Yeah, what, what's the appropriate time after to have that discussion? Oh, that's a good question. Right, do you wait till you're face to face? Do you yeah, I would say face to face. Yeah, definitely face to face. I would say face to face. I mean, at the end of the day, you can't really call, make that call because, and you can, especially, I hate text messages, right? We, me and Chantal had learned that. All three of us had learned that. Um, sometimes I could she be misconstrued, just being calm. But regardless, if, if she, her attention is high, she could take it in like, this nigga talking shit. <laughs> you know, it, we could, it, it brings blurred lines. And, you know, I'm guilty of that, too. I'll be like, oh, she, you know, fuck that. Hello. Hello. She probably was like, yeah, hello. And then, like, nah, damn that. Oh, she's trying to be funny. No. <laughs> so, most definitely, I would never recommend text That's messaging. True. I would say it would have to be a face-to-face. This is the point of um creating safe space. And like, I was um, telling uh, Karen, we have to create safe spaces for the individual that, you know, I mean, that they're going to react or they're, sp- they're, they're sp- basically spilling their emotion out to you. We can't react, but respond. You know what I mean? Sometimes we confuse creating a safe space. <laughs> what I say yesterday, I said creating a safe space because it's safe enough for me to beat your ass. You say an answer I don't like. <laughs> never, it's a safe space. It's a safe space because we understand you're coming vulnerable. It's going to be an emotional, an emotional session. 
So we gotta remember we're gonna process everything, digest the information, and then respond correctly. But did you but, hold on face now? Face to face, I would say face. Oh, but in the time frame. In the time frame. How how soon? How soon? And then that be the thing. That time for you drink on that shit. That be the thing. The time what frame the fuck? is what be what be getting me. It's the time frame yeah. because that turns yes. to on top of the actual act. So it's the time frame because you yes. yeah, I understand nigga. If you waiting, then that long, hold that shit to your grave because that time frame is you waiting that long, hold that shit to your grave because I feel like you waiting and you waiting and then you you dance around the shit and then you come back around it and it's just like yo, what you got to tell me and how long ago was this? Like I get it because of course Polly is where the safe space lives. Granted, <laughs> I get it, but <laughs> it's, not <laughs> it's not always like that. Of course, emotions get involved. Of course, because. Timing is everything. So at the time you did that shit, and then how long it took you to tell me this shit in between the shit, I'm ready to explain. So I can't really, I would say if you gonna tell because nigga, people lie, people hold shit to like I don't if y'all can see, I don't really trust a lot of shit. So, I see that. Yeah, so <laughs> nice. we, we get you. <laughs> they gonna lie. So if they choose to tell it to you, respect them for telling it to you. Mm -hmm. Kind of take away from the time frame that they took to take because the shit they told you. Um, mm -hmm. But when this bullshit in between and it's like, bro, you did that shit when you were supposed to be doing it. It, it kind of, it take away from you even telling the truth. Nigga should have kept it. Just kept, keep it. Exactly. And the time mm -hmm. frame, I like why it matters so much is because if you let three, six months go by, we can't add up what the fuck you were supposed to be doing at that time and this time and that. If you as if it's like a few days and it's like, oh, okay, you're supposed to be doing this thing, just that okay, no problem. Yeah. All right, cool. It wasn't that, that dire need that or it wasn't that much of a lie, or it was just some other shit. However, the time frame to me should be when's the next time we having dinner when like the kids are in bed. That's it. it. Has, has <laughs> That's the only thing. And yeah. don't be forced to tell the truth because that shit don't get respected mm -hmm. either. So if you, when I say force, it's like I he know. He caught up in a lie. Yeah, you basically you, you caught, caught up in a lie. In so lie. You have to tell the truth. I so you shouldn't tell it. the truth. You, it's like you you told the truth, but you had to because it wasn't no other way for you to back out of it. So it's just like, damn, okay, I'm caught. Why not? That does not get respected to me because no, at all. Oh, at all. If, I, I if this didn't way. happen. That one them never came out. So it kind of gets you looking at the person kind of like, oh, okay, they capable of that. They capable of a whole lot of other shit. So, I mean, and I get it. Yeah, you told me, but whatever. And, and just to clarify, because this is going to go on, 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 the, on the podcast thing. No, when we separated, it was not because of lies. It was not because of infidelity. It was not because kind of people are going to watch this part and be like, oh, that's why. Oh, that nigga was out there. He did it again. <laughs> he, did. And he lied because, you know, no, it was we were we, we will get to that point and discuss that when it when it's time to talk about the separation. But it was not because I lied or cheated on her or infidelity again. None of that. Learn my lesson. That's it. No. Listen, all <laughs> they do it's is like compassionate over here. <laughs> like, you be, yeah, she yeah, I don't need no disclosure. Like, no, but you know people are gonna, you know, them, people, they gonna you know, get, but I just, you know, I, you know, I have, I have that past on me, and then yeah. you know they'll run with that. You know, that nigga still ain't mm -hmm. shit. They still think, <laughs> <laughs> damn, no, they think I'm shit. <laughs> you motherfuckers think I ain't shit now. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, hey, no, they don't do Hey. I just say, uh, you yes. know what though I will say I'm working on um more forgiveness this year mm -hmm. like um and genuinely like enjoying people for who they actually are and well, just guess. being okay with that especially when if I if I love you I love you you know what I'm saying? Whether that's platonic or romantic or even in business. Um, I'm just working on forgiveness and just acceptance of who who a person really is. And I want the same in return. Like, that's the main reason why I'm working on that. Because 
I'm not perfect and I have most definitely done some fucked up things within the poly relationship on just how I move based off of jealousy or just anger. So like things happen, but I do feel like how Alex, you had said in the beginning, not being condemned from your past. Um, I had that problem a lot with my husband like holding that against him. And there's times when I still do it. So I'm really truly working on forgiveness. So it's not like all I remember is the old you. Like I know who the old you was, believe me, you, I do. But I see the new you too. And I want you to know that more than anything. Like, I don't want you to feel like, I don't want my husband to feel like all I know is the old him. You know what I'm saying? Because I've seen his growth. This man is amazing. Shit, y'all can't wait. I'm finna put life insurance. No, I'm just fine. This <laughs> one. <laughs> no, that's beautiful. That is. Like, that's very beautiful. Um, yeah, no. You, it, it, oh, no, baby. You have to, um, you have to grow that type of maturity uh, about you. Like, and because just holding on to different things, it's not going to benefit anybody, anything, especially if you don't do nothing different from what you're doing. So letting it go and moving forward and like you said, loving and enjoying the people in your life for who they are because everybody has their imperfections. But if you could still close your eyes and know that one person's or the, the people are there to, that, you know, to count on and that are going to be in your life, you kind of got it. I mean, shit, I'm fucked up. You fucked up. We fucked up together. together. So, I mean, if you ride, we gonna ride together. And we just gonna keep going. It's going to be hiccups, it's gonna be ups and downs. Hell yeah. But Hell yeah. And knowing that you need to work on forgiveness and recognizing when you hold it against him, it that's beautiful. That's growth within yourself. Um, it's hard. It's definitely hard. hard. It's very definitely hard. Because at the end of the day, it's as I think just humans, I'm not gonna say this is just a woman thing, but as humans, we remember what somebody did to us. It's it's a it's a childhood thing. You remember how you grew up, all that. It's a shadow, it's a shadow person within you who remembers things that happened to you that just made you feel uncomfortable. Let's just say it like that. So you can forgive someone. It's that saying you can forgive, but you'll never forget. At the end of the day, don't condemn me because this shit hard and I'm working on it. So you better you seen me. I was I, I was worse back then. No. Yeah. Right. And that and that's facts. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I think that's why people need to realize we want to, we want our growth to be appreciated. We understand the damage exactly. that we cause. We understand also at the same time that the 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 process of healing can cause worse mm-hmm. pain than the than the wound itself. You know, at that moment, because every yeah. time we're healing, it could be triggering. You know, you're gonna relive it. It's gonna be pain over and over again. Mm-hmm. But also, you know, because I don't want somebody to leave and take this interview and be like, yeah, all man can change, or all individuals, humans can change. You know, there are those that don't learn too. They you do stay stuck the in their ways. To want to learn yeah, to they do stuck. They stay stuck in their ways. So it's like if you if you see growth and you you see the opportunity of of a person yeah. wanting to change for you and learning from what they did wrong because we're gonna make fucking mistakes. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, but as long as you see the growth, always, man, I love it and I, I'm thankful. Of course, we still we are healing. Still, I wouldn't say well. I mean, yeah, you're always healing, right? You always you know, healing. Hell yeah. yeah. So, so many years that it's still, you know, there's still shit there. So yeah. Yeah, I love that. I just feel like everyone needs to think about if the shoe was on the other foot before they do some shit. Because yes, I understand. I'm all about forgiveness. I'm a very loving person. But at the end of the day, if we're moving forward and we're growing, just think about, take a sec, an extra second to think about it. the shoes on the foot, how you would like it. And I bet you, you wouldn't fucking do it. Or like Chantel said it earlier, she was like, just, just don't bring it up after a month or two. That was noted. Kept that in my fucking eye. That part. Now just <laughs> play. But now get caught in the <laughs> because then you gotta bring this shit up. Because I'm gonna get up. Hey. So I'm gonna be six months, get, six months down the line. I'm gonna ask you. Wait a minute. Six months ago, you was. Let me scroll the fuck back and go yeah. through my receipts and see now what you, you were doing. Was six what ago. and when? <laughs> You know what? For me, for real, y'all, it wasn't even trying to figure out when or what uh, that. It was the fact of how long you lied. 
you motherfucker, you yeah, lie yeah. for a long ass time. Yeah. That's what be pissing me off is you yeah. lie too long. Like Jam, you lie, <laughs> you lie too long. You lie too long. I mean, I mean, okay, 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 well, okay. Me. Look, 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 well, let me do a disclaimer. This is just a joke. But also, you could also give credibility for the creativity that someone was doing. <laughs> that that's creative created mine. <laughs> no, I'm playing. <laughs> 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 I didn't see somebody slap me one time. I hope it did. <laughs> Are you angry or passionate? I'm just saying. <laughs> Don't let me know you lie. I'm gonna play with that lie all day. And I can't, yes. you, I can't close my fucking eyes before I can tell you. I know you lie, nigga. Let me know. And I trust me. I'm a kid. I'm so, so, so about. She can't let the next breath out. Man, <laughs> you gotta get, cause it's on the tip of your tongue. We waiting on you to say the shit. I know, I'm waiting on you to respect me and let me know. But or you, you ask the question, setting them up perfectly to tell you what the fuck the truth is, and they still the lie. They still lie. I be like, bro, I done built you up so you can let me down, my nigga, what? But you know what though, y'all, y'all, let me say this real quick. Um. And it's not, it's not just a man, because I've done that to my husband. Like, I did not tell him the full uh, truth about um, an old friend of mine that I stepped out on him with during a poly relationship, during my triad. So it was, and I kept that, I kept that a secret until we separated. Like, he did not know at all. And I was so mad at what he was doing in the relationship that I just kind of, ventured out on my own mm -hmm. and when we did separate and he like was finding out like this man was I took him through the ringer so it's yeah, not just yeah. men that do it's not just men that do it like and women we are like really sneaky with it like and can keep shit for a long time so I like I when I just thought about it I was like you lie for a long time like his like his lies he got caught quick that one right there, I did, I didn't. It was probably like separated. women lie better. She wouldn't have got caught. She said women lie better. No, I, women I, I agree. Know. I don't agree. I, I agree. Don't agree. Lie women, I, I just know you. I get caught quick. In my no, life. no, Shalon, 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 Shalon used to get pretty. She was nice with the lies, and then after a while, I just started like, okay, now nah, I know, like, fuck that. Women do lie pretty on point, on point. Then you know, um, better than men. I'll say that much. Mm -hmm. Way better than men. I, I I just think women want to know what their spouse is doing. Men, a lot more. we want to know. We got a, we got a different expectation. Our, our, or we look at you all different. Like, oh, the she ain't gonna do that. Y'all think we gonna okay. do shit. That that that's a good perspective. I like that. That is, that's kind of like, I guess so y'all just take this for a fucking fool. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I heard. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. Oh, shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't even know where we add on the thing. Oh. Boundaries. <laughs> Boundaries. <laughs> Boundaries took us all the way down to this motherfucking route. No, 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 no. That's not what it was. It was. Probably be having these niggas in the streets doing whatever. That oh, yeah, that's what we converted. No, why gotta be everybody? That was so everybody, everybody, everybody. Yeah, yeah, everybody. Yeah, everybody. everybody. I, and you know, I, I do think I do think it, it is um it is a it, it is a, some people use it to their advantage. I will say that. I think people tend to forget when we say we're poly, it's it's about having multiple relations, meaningful relationships with individuals yeah. that we plan to build and see something with, regardless of whatever form of how we were romantic, platonic, whatever it is, we plan to build and have our own individual relationship with this with this new person that, to have these multiple loves. So that's but, your poly. What the fuck do you mean? What? <laughs> no, because with the different dynamics, <laughs> that don't be the goal all the time. All the time. <laughs> it, it 
really don't. Like some yeah. people really they ain't trying <laughs> no, to. No, some people are just in it for the sex. Some people are that. just in it for the fun. No, no, just that's that's what I, I ain't trying to jump the broom. I'm just trying to jump your bones tonight. Yes. <laughs> You know, always be listening to nasty ass songs. King nasty King. ass songs. I yes, never know what she talking about. I don't know. I don't know what song she talking about. I was listening to that song on the way home. And I, said, I bet yeah. she was. I, I bet like she it. was. And what, what do we just say? They do. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> That's people's perspective. Like no, some people, no, they, no. The, the end goal, and that's the, the vision. The end goal. Some people look at life and they look for the end goal, and some people are just looking at it. For yes. Them. So that's when it branches off to people's expectations and what they, their reason for poly and how they conduct their poly. Some people look at this shit like, man, I can't keep this up for 40 years. I'm going to see myself with X, Y, and Z. So I'm really just fucking around in poly. I'm really just enjoying the people. Okay. And networking and doing that. Then some people say, "Hey, I, I I have an empire that I'm building. I want some structure. I want a family. I want a village. I want this. I want to do build with these people. Some people don't want to build with their ass. They just want to fuck. But it doesn't or just but, chill. But that okay. So I'll give you that. And Polly I'll, gave them the door. When Polly no, gave them no, the door. Oh, no, it did not. So no. those are swingers. That's what he's yeah, gonna say. Yeah, those, the those, unit. What we say." Community dick and pussy. We was talking about that. Hold on, because that was supposed to be the next show. Look, we doing look, we're already over the 30 minutes. We keep talking. I want now we can go. We could go there because we're talking about it now. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna just like an hour and a half or something. Damn it. Oh, what's going on? No, but yeah, I can understand because that's still swinger. You, you can still be ethical being a swinger. But then you also have something called the comment. Now, and now this is where I know this is where you start to tell me. This is the bullshit I talk Look, about. People are just making stuff my... up. But... <laughs> <laughs> Again, and this is why I tell people, what I love about just taking the, the, the forefront of, of learning and educating myself on everything within Polly, I love to never really pass any, any of that on them because I love this shit. It grounds me. With the nigga, do you hear what you just said? <laughs> Did you just hear that you said someone's going to come around every once in a while <laughs> they're gonna just be involved. <laughs> they're gonna be, and you know, I get it. And it's just like, I understand it just helps me be in both worlds. It's kind of, but still, if they, that's still, if you agree upon that and have that within your relationship and you and you enjoy this person, it doesn't, they might not sleep with each other, but that's their comment. It's an understanding. Probably overall, it's just building relationships, meaningful relationships, no matter in what way with an individual. Yeah, but someone ignorant, they can put their swing and shit That's underneath the poly we're talking umbrella. About those people. We're talking about people that don't know <laughs> shit, they say, oh, you got two of these. Oh, you you able to do that. And, and it's called her too. And it's called right, her I, I think I found a name for that. Yeah. I call it polysexuals. Yeah. Polysexuals. It's called polysexuals. Yeah, poly. like polysexuals. Like they put <laughs> people underneath. Honestly, that's. That's the outside world looking into Polly because I understand Polly is a large community and it's very diverse. And it looks interesting. You do have people that, and like I told you, I teeter both lines. I, I be inside outside. Um, I don't oversaturate nothing with 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 nothing, to be honest. And it, it really don't be um Polly. So um I see it from both sides and I see the comments. Like it could be the same post when you know to see the two women and my girl, his girl, his girlfriend, all of that. And I see it in the outer world, and people are like, Yeah, you know, I can do this, and yeah, this fall under that. And I, I had me two bitches last night. I could do okay. it. Well, and they're very ignorant to what it, what actually, it is. actually is. Mm -hmm. Well, then do, do you say having like the false means and everything? putting out there, giving these people the to, the idea that it may just be all about sex, confusing them that it's really about, you know, I, I hate the word Maybe nation so building. So, so what I think you guys are trying to get at is that threesomes and like sex nights have always been around. Right. Mm -hmm. actually always been around. It's yes. just more so in the in the eyes now. Yes. So it's, more, it's just like keeping them separate. <laughs> like that person is just having threesomes, that person's just fucking. This person's trying to build some shit. This is the whole relationship. It, there's love involved and really separating it. And in the media right now, it's like, shh. Yeah, mm -hmm. because they don't know what to do so with it. I, I think if you if you remove sex out of poly, 
it, it'll take a lot of people away from it. It'll deter a lot of people from wanting to be poly or even thinking about becoming or, or joining or I can't even say joining because you can't really join. <laughs> right? It'll deter all the, the fakers. So if, if poly wasn't on the table, it wasn't the discussion, it wouldn't be as many people being poly. That's facts. That that's True. facts. So, so it will go into into the meaning of, of the, the people use that as a reason just to sleep around. You know what I mean? And just identify with that just to sleep around. And do you think that's and the, the game reason we get, we get torn down so much? You what know what I mean? Oh, what you say, Devon? To also, you know, game clout. Get, oh man, yes. man, fam, yeah. To game, I I think um. Yeah, because most people just love to say, yo, I'm with this many people. You know what I mean? We're doing this thing. And, you know, um, it's really like, yo, it becomes them. They're like, well, what's the word? Um, fuck, man, I can't even think right now. But it's like mediocre. But it's like, you know, just whatever. It's just it's, it's not meaningful. And people feel like we're making an excuse for everything of how we're trying to live. So we get confused like shit. We've been together for so many fucking years. We've got a family behind this. But when people hear about it, they're like, oh, you just like the other people. You just want to fuck want to do something you're not going to be around it's going to be bullshit yeah we are mis the, the community is really misrepresented but how do you find the right representation out there if so many misinformation is getting more shared than anything than the right information you know it's not being I'm stupid right. like this <laughs> a podcast like this because at the end of the day there's gonna just like there's reality tv <clears throat> there's scripted shows yeah. Some people watch the reality TV. Some people watch the scripted shows. It's just two completely different things. Some people just live reality. So it's really all about finding what fits you and actually wanting to learn the knowledge. And that's it. You know that. Um, okay. So, you know, the LGBTQ uh, community. Plus. That, plus. plus yes. <laughs> that is the, yeah, I've just seen that added on there. I, I wanted to get it right. That's the community that really understands the poly community. And I think it's because they're twined in it. But when I mention it to that community, they're more accepted than the, what, I'm sorry, the general population. I don't Monogamous know. or heterosexual couples. Yeah, heterosexual couples. Like, they they don't bat an eye. They're, oh, okay, I understand it. Like, they're easily to understand it. And it's exciting to see because I know they're excited to see someone that does not look at them different or anything like that or fall underneath the same category. Hey, we both can relate. Yeah, we're, we're not the same. Some people are the same. Some people are twined into the, the community. And it's a beautiful thing just to know that once upon a time, that community wasn't even a community. Now they're adding to the community and it's beautiful to see on top of Polly being added to and expanded and twined into the two. I wonder if it's going to be a piece in there too. No, 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 uh, because some, because some people, some people from that community, they, they don't understand it because some of them, they, you remember monogamy? My experience. And, oh, yeah, I ain't no, saying, I'm saying like, yeah, no, 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 because <laughs> some of them far. don't, but <laughs> people, but people, but people, but people, some people believe it's that, and that it's supported. But some don't because either way, even though that's their community, they still have monogamous beliefs. Some. Yeah, some, I, you know, I'm not saying, I'm just saying some have that monogamous belief that regardless, there should still be one person with, with each other. Right. They don't believe in the multiple love thing too. So, you know, it is kind of, that one's a kind of an up and down type of thing too. But it is good because as they grow, they are a proven, <laughs> they are a proven fact that as long as there's people like us coming to the forefront, you know, great communities that are organizations around, you know what I mean? People creating spaces for other people to get connect with like-minded individuals. We can't grow as a community. You know, nothing, nothing um, wrong with um, reality TV because everything that good, bad, whatever, as long as it's out there, it's going to open up the discussion, right? Correct. And it's going to get people's minds stimulating. Can we do this? Is this really a thing? Is this possible? And then they're going to find their way to the right information. Might go through a few failures if they really true believe in it, but then they'll find themselves in the right place wherever it is to be, you know, found at at the end of the day, whoever they need to find. Because there's some great information nowadays, and it's motivating more people to come out with the correct information. So I mean, it is something that you know can possibly should they the P won't probably be on the I I can't L B T Q. It's a lot of letters. They know. already have P. I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a lot, lot of them. A lot it of is. Letters. A lot of letters. Like, like my psychology class, we had to go through a whole like section on just that, and I was like, "Damn, there's like twelve letters on this shit, and yeah. a plus at the end." And but 
Yeah. And, I heard, and, I, <laughs> and I heard it. They, they got the, 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 the committee is bothered by, by, by so many things being added. I can see that y'all keep adding everything. It's, you're, you're trying to just make it everybody. Like, what the fuck? All right. There's a community for a reason. <laughs> They're gonna put Polly on there. They're gonna yeah. put Polly on there. Now she says she's gonna put a P right there. <laughs> <laughs> like, but no, um, what's <laughs> that means for bisexual already? Well, it's gonna be PPP long. No, I'm just playing. They're gonna add a Y. They're gonna add a Y. But do you think so? My next question then going into does Paul is probably an excuse for people to just um run rabbit through the community and just like yo, fuck it. I'm just you know, I'm here to whatever. You, no, um, it's not. It's no, not. no, no, it's not, I know it's not. But uh, well, you find that right. But do you think it, it makes people that are monogamous? It gives them more an opportunity to find the infidelity, since the topic was seeing signs of infidelity to come in and be like, like how my situation started. But let's just say I was just wish mm-hmm. on, but Chantel identified as, as um as Polly. You know, that gives me the open. How how much do you think that's seen out there? That Because it gives me the opening to, like, well, you know, we have this understanding that, you know, she don't even know about my poly relationship on this mm. side. You know, and we find ourselves in the mix of another infidelity situation just because we're living our truth while that person, the monogamous person, is starting to live in deceit still or continuing yeah. to live deceit. Okay. Definitely. I, I think the best way to handle that is to not deal with somebody that wants to live in deceit. Damn, you can't like open and honest with everybody. Don't be with me. The question <laughs> is um basically saying um so if someone is married and they under and they just want to that's their mo cheaters are cheaters sometimes they just you know that that's just some shit they could find opportunity when someone identifies as poly polyamorous because at the moment you're open to date openly now me that I could look at that as an opportunity. You know, sitting there and saying, well, shit, you're not going to trip because you'll understand I have a wife, even though I tell you not to speak. She doesn't want to speak to you. We keep that close because we could have those parallel relationships where we don't have to meet the metamor. So how, how, how often do you think that happens in the community? Does the metamor know? A whole huh? lot. I said it happens a whole lot. And it, it falls on that person to have, to have self-morals. Like, are you going are you, are you to go ahead and pursue this or are you going to? Believe in, in what you believe in. If you know you and your wife or your or your spouse are monogamous, you all don't practice folly, and you, that's not the lifestyle you live, and you're still going outside of it. You gotta have those self morals. Mm. Nobody can tell you yes or no because nine times out of ten, you're gonna be by yourself. You're not gonna be with your spouse doing that. Facts. 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 I, no cheating, bitch. I I I, I would just not. No, they don't deal with me. If I can't meet your wife and I can't like, or I can't even like have a conversation, you you cheating. That's it. Yeah. I'm gonna fuck. No, I'm like a line. So okay, why so- like why is it a secret? Like I got issues. Like I honestly feel like for one, probably it's not for everybody. So yeah. and then the people that it is for, that it's actually oh, yeah. for, they need to stop being blinded by the sparkly new thing and thinking that this is going to fit or, oh, let me try this. I hate the toe tippers. Like, let me let me put my toe in and try this out. Like, the people who are genuinely poly need to understand the signs when they see that. Y'all, when I be working with some of my, some of the people that I mentor, even in my spiritual practice, like the relationship stuff that they got going on, it's common sense with your spirit and your energy. You know somebody ain't ain't right. Like you, you know somebody ain't right for your relationship. If you're genuinely poly, stop falling for the glitz and glam, and you'll be able to weed that out. Like even when we went to this wonderful poly event that we just uh, recently were at. Um, I know when it gets bigger next year and the year after that, it gets bigger. There's going to be some monogamous people coming up in there thinking that they can have threesomes to fix their relationships, but or just to spice their relationship sex life up because they like, oh, these people are poly. They're open to have sex with other people. But people who are genuinely poly have to be able to put their foot down and be like, this ain't that. Have hard conversations, set real boundaries, and stop just doing things off of the spur of the moment. And mm-hmm. actually, yeah, it might not be sexy, but don't let nobody. It's don't done. let nobody. Facts. Facts. Right. No, I love. And I love that. I love build that. those relationships first. Yeah, because it, it gained those understandings. You know what I mean.
especially setting those boundaries. And I guess even a rule for yourself. Well, the boundary basically, right, um, is making sure. I know most people don't want to meet the partner to make sure that partner's individual partner is with it or just kind of information, but that's going to really save you a lot of headache down the line. It's not really to meet the partner to build a relationship with you that's not for you, but at least to gain clarity that is there is an underlying, under, there's an understanding behind everything sure. because then you can find yourself in an infidelity situation. And then next thing you know, people tend to forget once our, once our, um, once our emotions are invested, it's very hard to pull our emotions back out. When we find ourselves um, very invested into an individual, it's kind of hard to retract our emotions, you know, at, at, after a certain point. So to save yourself from being so far involved and so far, you know, invested into this person, it's okay to gain that clarity with their partner to make sure you're not finding yourself in a situation that you're going to regret later. That's basically what I was, uh, wanted to say. Because <laughs> <laughs> yes. what if you run it, like, not even just for the uh, men or the women, like, men, what if y'all meet a woman who say, I'm solo Holly, you know, uh, and yeah, I got a husband at home and he cool with it. You know, this is what we do. And you all in your feelings with this woman three months down the road. And one day y'all out to eat and you step outside for, you know, a cigarette, whatever. And you get your head blown off by her, by her husband that never knew anything about you. Facts. Facts. Because shit, man, um, infidelity just is just shit like that that really that type of shit really does pop off that's yes. facts that's facts or you not part. even and not even that even not even that extreme but like you you out with her and some dude come and just bust all your windows out your car and beat you up like you ain't gotta go that extreme you just cause a scene it's embarrassing alone yeah yeah, exactly. Like you want you on um the show Cheetahs, boom. They all like, what the fuck is you doing? I thought there was an understanding. Like you the whole mix of shit, nigga. I ain't even get my appetizers. I'm over here still waiting for my fucking goddamn po- potato skins and shit. <laughs> you got this nigga here and shit. <laughs> no, we had an understanding. No, that's facts. Like, you know, you don't want to find yourself in a situation you're gonna regret. You know what I mean? Like, man, fuck, I should have gained that clarity. You know, I man. Yo, but that was the, we already had an hour. Before we go, right, before I kick it off to the next session, uh, section where I, you know, um, introduce the coach for the for the show, um, I had a, I, I went ahead and started a portion too that I had people ask a question that they wanted some advice on, right? As, as we all are here, especially as being from the panel. You know, Late that, well, answer this question. That's a good thought, Alex. Look at you. You're so smart. <laughs> hey, trying to get it. Yeah. I, hey, hey, shout out, shout out my people for that suggestion right there. She I, I can't even lie. She put me on. She was like, yo, do this. And I was like, facts, I like that. You know what I mean, that's the great thing about having a team. Um, mm-hmm. so the question is, how do I tell the person I like I'm not willing to be uh be monogamous? I do have feelings for you, but the way my life is set up right now, I can't, I can't only date you. I am Polly and I, my love will expand and love is infinite. So if you're going to hold me to cutting that off, then I'm going to have to cut you off. So for me, um, it's kind of like if you go get a wax, it ain't going to be nice and sweet, <laughs> but um, when it's done and it's said and it's over with, it's going to look good. <laughs> <laughs> at least I was honest right <laughs> just uh honestly for a question like that I know it's hard because we sitting up here making it seem like it's easy it, it it can be y'all it's not really that hard you really just have to be able to speak up for yourself and say what you want and stand on that like it's okay to hurt somebody's feelings it's okay to miss opportunity with somebody that's you know that you might actually think is attractive because they not agreeing with your lifestyle. Now, let me tell you something. Some people agree and then get in it and be like, I was just playing. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not really with this shit, but I got you. Nah, yes. <laughs> but my advice, oh, you want to take your, your advice? I mean, you know me, I'm just going to tell you straight up that this is the lifestyle that I'm living. If it's something you can't deal with, then I mean, let's not be together. I'm gonna give you some time to research it, see if it's something you might be with. Let me know that part. Also, I would say, do it from the beginning. 
If you don't catch no feelings, you can't be that mad. <laughs> that is yes. but, <laughs> that, that part. <laughs> Oh, you like it? All right, that's cool. It was cool meeting you. There you go. <laughs> you have a nice name. <laughs> <laughs> me, me, uh, <laughs> me, uh, at the end of the day, it's not really, um, you know, how, how do you tell the person you like, you know what I mean, that you're monogamous, you're not willing to change. How are you going to deal with that answer if they don't want to deal with someone that's not going to be monogamous? This is something we don't ask ourselves enough questions at the end of the day what the consequence is going to be, you know, it just is that at the end of the day, that's going to be a real discussion. You just like the individual. You don't love the individual yet. Like, like I said, I mean, shit, it's not that far in depth yet. We're not that far yeah. invested. So are you okay with that person saying, okay, fine. Well, I want to close this chapter because they want to protect themselves and feelings and they want to walk away. Are you, do you want that? Or if they say they're not with it, are you willing to change your views and say, okay, well, I'm willing to try monogamy. That question really falls more on you than it does the other individual. I mean, that would be my suggestion at the end of the day with it. But Yo, I appreciate y'all. I think we went, man, y'all, y'all took like show three and four away from me. I'm gonna just say that much. We did not. We <laughs> no, I got cool. I got more topics, but I was trying to break all of them down. But man, I appreciate it because we hit everything, like like everything just in the flow. And I thought it, I thought this was a very, very dope conversation. You know what yeah. I mean? So I mean I, I love keep joining me. I'm gonna keep bringing you guys on. You know, I mean, I love how what we got going on and what we're going to grow from this. This was very educational for people to understand the importance of boundaries. Also, how to identify what is infidelity within the poly community, because, yes, there is cheating in poly. You know, it is not the savior of everything. There is still that there. Getting the understanding behind everything. Um, Is there, man, you know what we didn't talk about that we're going to talk about next time? Is there a girl, is there a guy or girl code in the poly community? Oh, yeah. I'm glad we didn't hit everything, goddamn. Yeah, we 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 right now. So, man. No, wait, no, go ahead. Go. I knew you were going to say, since we're here. <laughs> no, no, we're going to save it for next time. we saving it for next time for episode three, because I got to make another topic with that. But definitely touching on that. You know, um, again, I'm going to convert this also to audio. So, if you guys want to say y'all's websites and also your IGs, you know, and where they can find you at to make sure people go ahead and find you, especially for coming on here and co-hosting. And trust me, they're going to be back on eventually soon again. Uh, well, okay, yeah. Let me let y'all know right now. It is K-R-E-N, K-A-Y-R-E-N underscore L-T-S on Instagram and Twitter. Um, please feel free to follow me. You can catch my website. It's love to smudge.com. I do offer spiritual mentoring. I um, have a lot of people that I actually am already working with, but I do have my schedule opening up to add some more mentees to that. I help you with shadow work and just finding yourself along your spiritual journey and connecting you with the right people so you can have a successful one because YouTube videos ain't all you need, okay? There you Thanks. go. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. You can follow me on <laughs> IG at Cola, C-O-L-A underscore Smith. Nice. <laughs> and Shanice, Shani V, S-H-A-N-I-I-V. And you can find me on Instagram, on Shanice Vines on YouTube. And yeah, I um, have a coaching coming soon. And that's it. Well, definitely. Hey, thank you guys for joining me as always. I can't wait to hit the next topic. I'm going to make sure everything is out there. And we're going to keep continuing this every Sunday. You know what I mean? I really do appreciate y'all giving me y'all's time, you know, especially on this night tonight. You know, I, I, I didn't want to say the night because I was going to fuck up and just, you know, put us ahead of <laughs> May edit that out too. <laughs> this video is gonna be the longest edit ever <laughs> Shit. It'll, be, it'll be worth it though oh you know what? I, you just put in this edit right now bindsgang.com is the website bam there you go hey you said love to smudge yes love to smudge yeah, yeah love, love to, to smudge.com t-o y'all t-o love to and that's the number two <laughs> not the number Definitely come back. I'll make sure I put every all the information in the caption. And I really do appreciate y'all coming in and dropping so many duels. We, you know, we went on so many topics. And, you know, I mean, it was great information for people to actually just take in and, you know, absorb like a sponge because this is the type of shit that's not getting discussed out there. We're not finding this type of information out there, especially when it comes to relationships and, and poly, you know, regardless of what it is. 
I love that you guys came on here to where we could promote healthy ways of relationships and show that there is imperfections and challenges in this lifestyle. So thank you guys so much for giving me y'all time tonight, man. As always, yes, let's go. Into you. your you didn't put your any of where they can find you at. It's gonna be on audio on the podcast. Don't you put that too? Oh shit, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, that, yeah. Find us at Porter Family, P O R T A H Family. Uh, also go to the website, uh, the Porter Family, and uh, get all the content. Subscribe to the newsletter. Subscribe to the newsletter because it's very important. There's going to be so much stuff coming out from different products, not only from myself but from my team. We're going to have everything going out there. You want to be informed, you know what I mean? So stay with the contact. Thank you for reminding me. I really appreciate that. <laughs> not a problem. Guys, not, no. I got, I got, I got to close with the song. We're poly, we're happy, and we're singing, and we're color. Give me a hug. I knew what they was drinking tonight. I knew what they were <laughs> No, thank y'all so much. Hang out with you. Until next time, I'm going to see y'all, man. Y'all made my night. Let me end this. <laughs> Hello, world. That's my thing. That's my introduction. Today, we got um, a beautiful family that's going to come on, drop a little duels. You know, kind of a, what they do, their structure, and how they go, they navigate through the poly. You know, um, y'all want to go ahead and introduce yourselves? What's going on? Hello, world. That's his thing. That's his introduction. But we're going to use it because we're on his spot right now. <laughs> uh, Regal Love. I'm Eddie. Tyra. Latonya. And together, we create the energy known as Regal Love, a full-functioning, married, Open black triad. Yes, yo, say that marriage again. Very, very. And this is this what was so important, right? I love that you said married triad. Um, for those and also to kind of define how that what a triad fully is. You know, um, can you break that down for people? You wanna take it? Okay. Um <laughs> the the way the way triad works for us, um, it's kind of like like a tripod. It's the three leg system that you depend on each other leg to stand strong and stand true. Yeah. So that's how we navigate our triad. I love that. I love that. And for those that don't know, also yours is um most are familiar with the clothes setup. Yours is not does not fall into that sector, right? It, it, it's an open setup. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. We we are we are open triad. Everybody freely, openly dates. Um, we We're open to love from all directions. And then, and that is no really no issue. It doesn't change that y'all are still a triad. That can still just open no. triad. And still right. Married. And that's what a lot that of people. I, sure. I, I really wanted to get that out there because a lot of people don't understand that you can be closed or open. You know, because we also did have a closed triad, and they they for they they um run things a little different. Mm -hmm. It just it just occluded off that, and of course my next question would be, what is there any is there any roles like in polygyny? I know there's roles certain wives do conduct themselves, or even in certain families. I wouldn't just say just polygyny. Does anybody ever play like a kind of role? Does one stay home? Does one work? Does one, you know, cook, clean, anything like that, or is it just free flowing? Free flowing for us. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's, we all put in our sorry. No, yeah. <laughs> we all pitch in our fair share. <laughs> Yeah, it's the synergy. It's the synergy for us. No, I mean, as we don't have, I guess we do kind of have gender specific things because I am I'm very big on being a gentleman. They don't open their own car doors. They don't open their own doors. Right. Um, you know, I don't let them carry groceries and packages and things like that. And that's my choice. You know, that's not that's not so much uh, something that's been relegated, but it's a, it's a choice. And I have, um, I guess for what it's worth, I've spoiled them, conditioned them to that. So, like, now when they go out with other people and whatever, they're sitting in the car, like, waiting for the door to get open. And the other person is like, uh, what you waiting on? <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is? Uh, it's a little bit when it, we're out without him because we will sit there for for a hot second, like, wait a minute. Oh, I'm waiting for him to come open the door. He's not even with us. <laughs> 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 no, I feel you. I feel you. Oh, so my what, one of my second to last questions is why Polly? Oh, go ahead, go ahead, baby. Why Polly? You know, um, why did you choose the poly lifestyle for you guys instead of the monogamy? So when did you sit there and say, because I don't, monogamy is is for I, I 
support it. I support Polly. But why did you guys choose Polly? Oh, next question is, why Polly? You know, um, I love monogamy. I, I, I support people that do choose that as long as the relationship is healthy. I love that you promote healthy relations overall. So why did you say it will be healthy for you to take the route of a Polly relationship? Um, to spearhead that question, I've spent so much time in unhealthy monogamous relationships because the pressure was too much for me to try to adhere to something that didn't feel natural for me. Um, I am fortunate that I was raised in a poly, in a poly atmosphere. My mom has been poly my entire life. So I, I know what that energy is. I grew up understanding what that means. So for me, it was a part a nature, part nurture, because in me, it never felt natural just to, okay, I'm only allowed to love this one person. Right. I'm only allowed. Those words together just scream no. <laughs> So for me, that's why Polly was a more a more uh, appropriate choice, and I'll say it like that. I'm not saying it was the right choice, but it was a more appropriate choice for me because I sucked at being monogamous because I valued the emotion that I share with a person more than a title. So like I had ex girlfriends who. I was so ridiculously close to that my current girlfriend had a whole problem with just because I never denied the fact that I love this other person. I love that. I love that. That was a strong answer. And for me, I didn't feel like um, connections, my connections with others could be compacted into just one connection with somebody. You know, I need those multiple connections, the different energies, the different um, mixtures in my life. Mm. The alchemy of it. I love that. I love that. Um, for me, is why not? Because I don't think that I don't have anything against monogamy. I think uh, monogamy is good as well. I think I was successful at monogamy. We just grew apart. So I think I can be successful at monogamy or polyamory. Um, being that I've been in that type of relationship before, why not give monogamy a try? I mean, polyamory a try, or polygamy a try. So. Yeah, I love that. I love that. I love that y'all. <laughs> right. <laughs> I love that I stuff broke that down. And I know y'all do put y'all content, and you know, there's stuff to actually connect with the community. What, where is the best place that everyone can reach you guys at? Um, you, you, you can type us in Regal Love uh, on any platform. You will catch us. We're the number one result that pop up when you hit Regal Love. Um, we are on Instagram. We are on Facebook. We are on YouTube. Um, we're on Clubhouse. Not as much as we should be, but we are on Clubhouse. <laughs> I know, man. I know. I um, back too. <laughs> we, um, we are, we're creating merchandise. That's something that we're, we're, we're trying to get moving now. And it's a dual purpose thing. Uh, a, to bring um, positive representation for black polyamory. Uh, we, we, we definitely strive for that. As, as you say, uh, 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 the, the quest to put out healthy relationships, mm. to help build healthy connections. Um, so uh, uh, the, the, the second part of the purpose for the merchandise is so we can actually start funding um, different seminars and we want to start putting, putting other content creators and other educators in a, a bigger forums. We understand how, yes, everybody grooves off of being able to uh, uh, see each other on, on Zoom and and Clubhouse and Facebook and everything, but can you imagine the real impact of actually putting together uh, events where you get to sit down face to face and talk to these people? Right. So they can really feel your energy. So that is the secondary part of to us going into merchandising because we have been asked on so many occasions about putting, to putting together seminars and just 
talking about being polyamorous the way we are. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Where uh, I'm, I'm really working on it, and, and I'm, I'm debuting it right here with my man Alex. Porter. We are working on on uh, on on a situation that we are trying to label amorously poly. He's frozen. I love that. Yeah, y'all froze for a little. There it goes. Yes, I love that. I so, love that. Amorously poly because and 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 I, I I watched like I said I watched the poly M man, and I listened to you guys talk about how poly is looked at from this angle. So I'm going to take the word polyamory and I'm just going to kind of put things in a different place so we can get a different understanding from it. We want to be amorously, amorously poly. We want more love to infect the many. So we want to be amorously poly. I love that. <laughs> I'm with that. I'm with that. Keep me Love that. <laughs> Keep me posted on everything. You know, I ain't doing nothing no more. So I mean it's just I'm here chilling. I'm Listen, working man. <laughs> as far as far as far as I'm concerned, like I said, you have you have you have definitely been, you definitely decided you took up the mantle for yourself, you know, and <laughs> You, you, you. I know you follow you watch and you know what my philosophy is, and that's what real men do. Yeah. You know, I ain't gonna sit around and complain about what's not being done and how it's not being done. Let me go ahead and make a change that I want. And I watch you do it, man. And uh, all that respect for you, my brother. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I, I loved when I met y'all in person. Can't wait to meet y'all again later this year. Yes. Yeah, show the Hennessy. Well, I hit the shade. So with the Hennessy. Save me. Save me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, shit. <laughs> now, I do appreciate y'all tapping in with me and just sharing this information, especially for those that connect with you guys and identify that they see their structure like you guys. And you guys are great educators. You're a great, uh, a great place to actually get the information to help people that will be misguided or misled through this community. Or You know, it's hard. It probably is hard. You know what I mean? Yes. You're doing it on your own. So getting the tools while you're going and you're navigating through your process is just what's necessary. And I do support that y'all, what y'all do. And I love that y'all, I feel blessed that y'all always join me. I've always, I love the shit I do. I'm just going to be like that. Hey, I do. I can hit y'all up. Y'all like, fuck it. I'm with it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm thankful. I'm thankful. I'm thankful. Well, I'm going to let y'all go. It was just a quick one just to put the information out. And always love. I appreciate you, big